Okay. Some music options here. I actually do like Inti over Athari. I used to like Athari higher. Both great cards. Grizzlebrand's pretty sick if you want to reanimate. I haven't done any reanimator today. And I have done a lot of red aggro. Yeah, this is G Brand. Did I get carpal tunnel surgery? I did not, no. I didn't wear any more spaces. This is not an exciting pack. I almost like Preordain over Bitter Triumph. I'm just gonna take Preordain here. Preordain's a good card. Bitter Triumph is a discard outlet. Oh, we got a summer quest. Let's jam that now. I'm going to pause that and play Peripheral's request here. Scream. The Hegemon Agdistus theme from Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy 14. How many are they up to? 16 now? That's so many. What a fucking misnamed series. Just one more fantasy. Just one more, I'm telling you. Yeah, I'm going to grab the anime dead here. Would have loved a lot of this with that last deck, huh? Academy of Anavault. Interesting trivia there, Samson. You're saying the first Final Fantasy was supposed to be the studio's final game, so that's why they called it that. And then they like accidentally made like a really good game, and it was super popular, and they kept on going. That's wild. You progged to this song? What does that even mean? That's not like a dirty thing, is it? Do we zoom? I'm not a fine reanimator start, huh? You've progged to worse. It's like gooning. What's gooning? Progged to search or prowl about as for plunder for food or forage. Never heard of this. Oh, here's a good question. What does it mean when the weather is progged? Just forecasted. What does it mean to prong someone with an N? To stab, pierce, or break up with a, pr with a pronged device. My god. Progging is progressing in a raid encounter. Oh, okay. I've never played any game like that. The literal only MMO I've ever played. What do I want here? Oh, Converter. Or, or this Jace, too. There's two really good discard outlets. I like Converter because it's good against my opponent's discard, too. It's more likely to wheel, but I also think it's just better than Jace. So I'm just going to jam it here. There's also a chance we're not blue, right? Yeah, RuneScape. RuneScape's the only MMO I've ever played. And there weren't raids in that. Weird little game. There are raids in RuneScape now. Trash. Trash game. I think here's a nice discard outlet. I'm just going to grab Grave Titan. They've been raids in RuneScape for like seven years. Cool. <laughs> Your wife's 60-year-old Chinese dad still plays RuneScape? Mm. Hmm. There's more discard outlets. I'm just going to grab the Blood Crypt. We'll probably end up playing red. Yeah, that was a fun one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't really want any of this. You played on the PCs in middle school? Yeah, I did too. I remember I got a few. I tried to get a few um, of my friends to play, and one of them died fighting a cow, and he was like, "Fuck this game." He was. He was so mad. <laughs> No, I never played any MUDs. Some of my friends did, but I never touched them. Mm. 
Trapping Woodfall Primus so I can actually answer a Krakus from the opponent. Not all in on Grizzlebrand, you know. Some EverQuest. That's another Daybreak game. Evercrack. Is blue-green good? I mean, you can still do, like, blue-green turns and fast bond wheel stuff. Yeah, the thing about black-red reanimator is that the, uh, the black loot effects just, like, always come around super late. Usually puts me into red instead of blue. Even though these cards are better, like, these cards are better than reanimator. Archon, hello! There's a quality reanimation target. Bye, Minsk. And the duels are less fought over, huh? This is indeed Howling Giant. You have a good ear, Squid Squad. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I wasn't super interested in MMOs because I just really enjoyed um, CRPGs. The whole, like, having a plot appeals to me a lot. Complicated dialogue. Not having to get a horde of idiots <laughs> together. Or in the case of RuneScape, mindlessly mine for hours and hours. Terrible game. When I was in middle school, I actually paid my uh, my little sister to mine coal for me. She didn't she didn't know how to play RuneScape, but I was like, okay, click here, open the inventory, do this, and uh, just do that over and over again, and I'll pay you a few bucks. She was just stoked about it. <laughs> Stop botting, yeah, basically. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're going to take death here. A lot of nice potential wheels out of that pack. This is the same sister who made me mugs, yeah. Hmm. Probably, probably go up and meet her. Or visit, rather. Sometime in the next while. I meant to this spring, but I think it's getting pushed back to the fall now. Definitely don't want to visit northern Wisconsin in the summer. Absolutely not. But I'm looking forward to the girlfriend meeting meeting some of the folks, some of the family. It's all it would be cool, but we just like, already have a bunch of primo targets. And Mutt would be a sweet discard outlet. I'm going to take Dark Ritual, though. And Dark Ritual is fucked up. Demonic Tutor this late? This late? Get in my deck! Alright, this deck's sick. This deck's a real sick one. Let's deck some sick business right here. What's wrong with northern Wisconsin? It's just muggy outside. The Midwest has seasons, you know. I typically don't go outside much in the summer. 102 today? That's too hot. Way too hot. Roof summer, extend fall and spring. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Don't love a breed here, but maybe it'll hit um, Graveyard Hate cards or Pitch to Fury. The humidity in the summers was one of the reasons you left Wisconsin. Yeah, it's a valid reason. Totally valid. Hell yeah, Jay Walla. You have been enjoying it too. This is a real curve. Yeah, right? All twos and tens. You're happy to be in Louisiana? Can't say I've heard that a lot. I was leaning ball lightning, or burst lightning because it uh, pitches to Fury, but maybe Fatal Push is better. Just think about killing like large tokens and such. Is Entomb better than Soul Ring here? Hell yeah, we did get a sick wheel. Um, yeah, yeah it is. Entomb versus Soul Ring? I don't think it's very close either. Entomb versus a, a, a non-colored Mox would be closer. Or Black Lotus. Black Lotus over Entomb for sure. But on color Mox, I think I'd take Entomb. Very close, though. 
Hey, Squid Squad, thanks for supporting 81 bits. Let's play this song. Let's, play, let's see what Squad wants to listen to. The Steel Drivers. Driving that steel. Ah, Ghosts of Mississippi. That's a classic. Under Family, thanks for the sob, thanks for 84 months. Hell yeah, Arzu. That sounds fun. Yeah, I'm looking forward to jamming some Modern Horizons 3 tomorrow. I've looked at the set like almost none. So I'm going to be learning. It's going to be one of them learning streams. I'm going to take Layla here, I think. Dax is 6 Splash, but I don't think I need it. It's not like we have a bunch of duels or whatever. What time am I going to get on for that? Um... So I'm going to aim for, like, I'm going to get rolling in my, by my usual time, around 3-ish, but it'll probably take me, like, an hour to get my computer set up and stuff. So I'd imagine it'd be a little bit after 4, for in terms of my stream start time tomorrow. Think about that, through the breach. Yeah, I guess I like it. It's a little expensive for our deck, but I still like it. I think Metamorph's fine, F3, but it's not, like, a priority for this sort of deck. Need a few more playables. Faithless Looting would be sick. Not my pack, huh? Um, the only card that works with Vengeance here is the, is the um, Grizzle Brand, which is just not enough. I'm gonna grab Lantern for the Reanimator Mirror. Make someone real frustrated. Yeah, it's actually kind of a combo with Exum, huh? It wouldn't be the craziest main deck. God damn it. My like slipped on my um on my water. I spilled water everywhere. Not the end of the world. My poor desk. My poor waterlogged desk. At least it wasn't super full, the glass. It was pretty full, but a stack of tax documents here. Those can be waterlogged. That's fine. That's totally... That's fine. I, I don't need those. The girlfriend just showed up at the door. Hey, there's Entomb. With a backup roll of this. <laughs> like, offering. Mm. So helpful. Hell yes, Boulard. Yeah, the deck is significantly better after getting that into him, for sure, for sure. Get a little grief action. Yeah, what are we missing? Like, actual reanimate? Faithless looting? Not much. Absolutely good omen, must of all. You're gonna have a good harvest this year. Hey, there's faithless looting. Awesome. I think we're... I think we're good. Fam Tutor then perfect. I mean, we have Imperial Seal. Imperial Seal and Demonic Tutor. We're actually kind of good on tutors. I mean, Entomb's a tutor. Yeah, Shieldred, Reanimate. It's kind of, it's kind of it, right? Maybe a Thought Seize. Mm, good track is good. I'll listen to, let's listen to some more of Eldar. The Rat King. You talking about Pack Rat? You get some interesting sideboard options here. Get probe. Get probe would have been, been okay. Let you know if you should be pitch casting grief or something so you don't die to channel. Relic's a little awkward. I'd still board it in, in the reanimator mirror, but it's like obviously awkward. Hitting our own graveyard as well. Soul Guide Lantern was so good for me at the RC. Because I played against that rug combo deck like seven times. <laughs> it was just my best sideboard card. Could have taken Cruel Ultimatum. We do have Mastery here. Would have been totally reasonable. The issue is I don't want to put those cards in my deck, so I didn't grab it. I don't think six red's enough. Oh, there's three fours. Is eight red enough? It's 
actually go up to nine. But obviously it's not like a quality that only exists among good players, right? <laughs> Plenty of good, lo um, good losers everywhere. People have good sanitation. Oh yeah, for sure. Hygiene's important. A little bit of small talk um, before and after a match is fine, but uh, people that talk to you when you're like trying to think is annoying. Not into that. People who pile all their lands together. Yeah, that can be very difficult to tell what kind of mana people have available and stuff when they do that. I was going to demonic tutor for Intomb. All right, fair enough. I kind of want a demonic tutor for uh, Grist here. Or not Grist, but Grief. Let's do that. I was hoping to rip a land so I could still entomb animate dead post grief. If they count the grief, I might even just animate dead it instead of going for Grizzlebrand. Containment Priest, interesting. Hmm. So that went terribly for me. I do have a braid for the Containment Priest. Now they're getting in some damage. I don't know if I want Grizzlebrand or Archon. I think Grizzlebrand still makes sense. I guess I should have griefed on turn one, hum. Fury would be a sick rip. If I draw a red source now, I can Dark Ritual, Upgrade, and Animate Dead in the same turn. Didn't they go up to like nine red sources? I feel like I had a few in here. Yeah, one of them still comes with Blade Tapped, though. Oh no, that's like worst case scenario for leaving them with a Mentor. Fuck. Right, real bad tank. And then you miss when the signature is required, so you have to fucking schedule around when the post office place is open so you can actually go and fucking get your shit, and you've got, like, a weak range, so if you're out of town, it's obnoxious. Yeah, the mountain or a fury, huh? Fury would be sick. Yeah, my decision, my decision to let them have a turn two... Obviously, like, if you grief them on your turn two and um, and then they rip a counterspell or something, you feel like an idiot. But had I just gotten Demonic Tutor Grief, then we would have gotten the Containment Priest out of their hand. Assuming they didn't just draw it, right? One more answer to Containment Priest. We have a solid number of answers. You just worked from home to sign for a package. They didn't need you to even need you to sign. Yeah. One enemy Grizzlebrand. There's a containment priest in play. Containment priest makes that not work. That whole the whole game, the whole game, they had containment priest down on turn two. I was I was talking about how I could have griefed them a turn sooner to get it, but I waited in case they were playing counters. Right, Venom Knights. Sometimes if they know you, they just fucking do it because they're in a rush. Which I never mind, but it sucks that you took off work for it. 
I don't know when I would do it, Endojankson. I don't know when that review would happen. Why not come hang out with me tomorrow when I learn the new cards live on stream? That's going to be my review, drafting them. That's how I like to learn new cards. It's a really fun way to learn. I'll be drafting and doing sealed pools and stuff instead of just like monologuing for like six hours straight. It'll be a blast. All right, I guess I'll wait for grief now. Black card. It's interesting. Correct tombstone. Gotta be a little bit wary of this colonnade, huh? Be an embarrassing way to lose. They'll reanimate uh, Woodfall Primus next turn. Oh yeah, yeah, I've had plenty of game wins off life. Well, I did just see their hand, must have all. And the, the colonies face up here. Wait, doesn't that not work? Couldn't they just kill me? If they just activate the colonnade here? If they activate the col they had the five mana too. They activated it as a tapped colonnade. And then the Woodfall Primus fizzles. And then what the fuck do I do, right? Well, they missed it, so. <laughs> I chilled on this abrade. The long goodbye. Yeah, I like it. I like the FTK too. And play him over Grave Titan.
Well, maybe long goodbye is better. It's close. The FDK pitches to Fury, which I like a lot, and you can like reanimate it to kill things later. All good things. This hand's so sick. I'm gonna send it back though. Just no, no black mana hum. This looks better to me. I'm actually gonna bend the grief. Lava Dart is a miserable answer to Containment Priest. We have plenty of answers to Containment Priest, friends. My opponent had Containment Priest there, and we just beat it, right? Don't need to... Don't need to board in the Wild Ones. I don't know whether to Entomb for Grizzlebrand or Archon. Turn one here. Might go for Archon. So Blade Splicer is not what we want to see, because that kind of breaks my Lily. Mentor the Meek would be solid this turn. Just a naked Mentor. Feels unlikely though, huh? Might just pass. So last turn I didn't like play the Liliana because of the flashing containment priest, they pressure it, and then we like can't even answer the priest when we untap. This turn we can hard cast Fury though, they flash in priest to pressure Lily. Well they just have a path for me. I mean, the fact that they're missing land drops and have seven cards, I mean, their whole hand is gas, right? Oh, wow. Have we seen red red cards out of them yet? That's right. We saw Volcanic Island. I don't think we actually saw any red cards, though. Pitch cast subtlety. Kind of looks like a balance to me, hum. But a balance doesn't answer the lily. Still kind of an issue. Maybe they're just messing around. You just tried reading Animate Dead and now your head hurts? Yeah, that is the appropriate response. I feel like the new version isn't like any easier to, <laughs> to Gronk than the old version either. Oh, you think they might have just been misread subtlety? I could see that. I could see that for sure. Oh, we're getting some nice thinning going. Are we going to Liliana ult, ult for like a single stone rain? I think they're just running out of the touch because they know they're going to have to discard it anyway. I 
I like they, they played nine turns with like two lands. Now they just kind of have to keep playing with two lands. Should have lured away the the land, huh? Right now I need another land for the grizzled the grizzled dad. Probably not supposed to uptick here. The solitude. Hmm. You sure that's never happened in the history of competitive magic? Lily ulting twice? Oh, I've done that plenty of times. But you're probably teasing, hum. Yes, Chitsaku. A little bit worried about deckings, why I haven't fired off Lelia here. Only seven cards left. No rush, right? No rush. I'm gonna keep this hand. We just need a black source. How hard is it to get a black source? There's like 12 in here or something. But yeah, thanks for the match. Good luck in your next rounds. Sure, we <laughs> won't Give me wins. A little turn one kill there, a little turn one lethal. Why not? Preacher's kind of good against red decks. A little slow though, right? A little slow in cube maybe. I show it up. Hey, Commando Zacho, thanks for the 89 months. Zacho says, I can tell my grandpa about our subversary on, at his 89th B Day party this month. I'm sure he'll understand. Yeah. Yeah. That seems like a thing worth sharing. The 
so it's only in turn two, Archon, this game. Yeah, tell Roger Caleb says hi. 100%. The game has ended. Turn one kill, turn two kill? Just like that, we're in the finals? Jesus. I'm gonna chill on Grizzlebrand. In case the opponent's also playing Reanimator. Next year we can play out the Currency Converter and like store cards there. Gix, huh? Some hot Gix action. Not bad, not bad. Gaia's Cradle. And there's a Lilia here in fucking six. Yeah, one really cool thing about Converter as a discard outlet is that it also is good against your opponent's discard. <laughs> like, like their discard just spits out two twos for you, which is pretty sweet. I didn't really see enough to do any serious boarding here. Guys, Cradle makes me want to bring in Lava Dart, but they had a bunch of dual lands that like, comes to play tab dual lands, which doesn't scream Mana Dork to me. And they had black mana, but we'd like. The only creature we saw was Gix, right? And we didn't see reanimator stuff. I think I'm just going to run this back to the no changes. If you're eating a, a lone delighted halfling, is not a line that I would do if I hadn't seen their hand, right? Because the halfling was going to let them play the Paradise Druid on turn two, and then the Proving Ground, and then that would set up for Natural Order. And then they ripped a one drop here anyway, but... Alright, come on. Come on, land off the top. Let's go. Let's go! No. Am I just going to get Natural Ordered now? I am... The old natural order watery grave deck. Oh, the twisting, sure. It's still not great for me. Oh, we got death. We got death. Yeah, I wonder what they're knowing for him. Never get lucky this league. Fucking never. I don't think Archon's great, right? <laughs> I don't think Archon works. They sack one, they have two six sixes. They attack me for 12, I attack, they sack again. They have a 12-12. I guess I do this and then just pass. Well, I haven't played a land yet. I could go down to three and then block, gain seven. Yeah, let's draw seven. Oh, that was nothing. Draw reanimation spell. There's only one left in the deck. Oh my god. Alright, fair enough.
I'm gonna bring in Relic and Lava Dart. Gonna cut Lelia through the breach. Caleb's Malding. <laughs> Does that mean I'm mad? <laughs> I'm so mad. Ah! I'm the least lucky ever person who's <laughs> very easily 2-0 in this league. No, we've been running pretty hot. We're allowed to get browned every once in a while, right? Mad and bald. Oh, my. What's the relic for? They also have enemy dead. That's what we took with their grief when we grieved them. We kind of had to take it. I'm not molding. You're molding. Actually, if I had Imperial Sealed for Dark Ritual, could I have reanimated on two? I think I could have. Played Epic here, Dark Ritual, looted away. Yeah, that would have been better. The seal for, for Dark Ritual. Turn two Archon. I'm going to Imperial Seal for Grief. I think that's smart. And then we just pass. Think about channel versus anime dead here, basically. Using death on Archon, because anime dead can hit the opponent's things. So if they rip a green source, they can channel into green sun zenith, but I don't know what's even scary that they can do life-wise, right? Because the Archon's hitting them in the air. The Wasteland self-target. Channel for 14. Why did I pitch Exhum there? Yeah, in case the Grief hits a creature out of their hand. In case a creature is the best thing to hit, then the Exhum's the worst reanimation effect, I think, in that spot. 